staff that is going to hold students and ourselves accountable to high standards and not move the mark down because some don't reach it. I think I live that part of the vision the most in my classroom because I have such high expectations for my students and I have this standard that I want them to meet and so when they don't, I'm pushing them all the time to make sure that they get there. And that's the only uh, thing that I'm going to accept. Students and teachers should take control of their own learning, knowing where the mark is, what is required to reach it, and a staff that's going to support them to achieve it. I think that is a good thing because it shows how we have to push ourselves and our teachers have to push us to get good grades. I think that it's a really important part of the vision because we're setting goals and providing feedback. And what's really crucial is collecting the data, which is like map scores, test scores, like recording where we started and where we finished and the growth in between. Teachers and students using technology at a level that changes learning. You know, I think we have to incorporate technology into our schools because that's the future that our students are going to face. Uh, whether it be using a 3D printer or uh, simply having to problem solve, uh, there are so many things that our makerspace can add to enhance our students' experience, makes them think outside the box. Students moving down the hallways, no one is running, yelling, or pushing. They are patient and polite to one another and to teachers. I think it's really important because we need to have a really organized school and that everybody stays safe and that you can get to your classes on time. Teachers that are friendly, calm, and happy, and in the hallways greeting all students and making them feel welcome. When you're greeting your students as they walk in, you're setting the tone of uh, how learning is going to take place in your classroom. You're creating a positive environment. And me personally, attitude is everything, and a smile goes a long way. A school that leads the way in character education, going above and beyond assemblies. I think that we show going above and beyond assemblies because um, like we take a lot of college field trips or we do a lot of uh, school activities like dances and uh, sports. Teachers and students, we have guests in our building. Please make them feel welcome. I think it's a good uh, opportunity for the new teachers that come in seven for your kids to have a vision of what the school expects of you as a substitute teacher. How does this vision incorporate into our school? The vision takes over everything that we do. It's how we do business with each other. It's how we treat each other. That's how we're going to behave. And so, uh, really, I'm just the keeper of the vision, but the students and the teachers, they own that vision. Yeah, and they, we see them use it in the hallways. They're out and they're about, and they hold each other accountable using that vision. They hold their peers accountable, they hold their teachers accountable, and their teachers hold them accountable. Why do you like our school? I like this school because I have a lot of other opportunities that I didn't have at my old school, like ACE camp and clubs, and it's such a welcoming environment. I like Hollister Middle School because since it's a smaller school, they can focus more on our learning, and they can focus on how we learn best. I couldn't imagine going to school anywhere else. I like this school because there are a lot of good friends that I have here and there are a lot of leadership opportunities and lots of good sports programs.